So we're uh, interested in the uh, curve or the sketch of the hyperbolic sine of the natural log of x. So give it a go yourself. Uh, sketch the sketch the curve and then watch the rest of the video to see, uh, compare what you do to what I do. And uh, here we go. So we, we, bleh, we begin with uh, writing out the function here. f of x is the uh, cinch of log x. And let's see here. We're going to do this over the real numbers. Okay. And I should actually say that uh, we're interested only in real output as well. So uh, we're going to limit our domain uh, because of the log x here. We're going to limit our domain to all the, uh, the positive real numbers. So x has got to be greater than 0. x cannot be equal to 0. x is greater than 0. So that... That lets out this this half of the Cartesian plane. Uh, we're only interested in the bit where x is positive. So we'll uh, first we'll make a, a substitution. Uh, log of x, we'll just call that u. So we're taking the hyperbolic uh, sine of u, and we're going to use this exponential uh, expression for the hyperbolic sine. And all that's over 2. And then now we can we can plug in the log of x. And so we have e to the log of x minus e to the negative log of x. And all that's all that's over two. All right, and this negative sign we're going to put it up here, make it an exponent for the uh, for the x, uh, so that we end up with the e and the log to cancel out. We just end up with x, and then that's minus. And I should have crossed out that uh, minus there in front of the log, uh, but it all all that cancels out, and we have one over x here. And again, that's all over two. All right. Beautiful. So let's just rewrite that up here. And let's let's pull out that one half out of everything because we're going to want to treat each each of these terms separately. Mm -hmm. Okay, doke. So now let's let's find some trends as uh, for the extreme values of x okay so let's um actually let's begin with uh as x gets large and positive so x goes off to positive infinity all right so when that happens uh we end up we keep the half x here but what we have over here is one over uh two times a very large number, so a very large and positive number. So the second term will tend to zero, and our whole curve will move towards this one-half x. So the bigger x gets, um, the bigger the, the closer the function will get to looking like just a straight line, ha half x. All right, um, let's find a zero of the function. So 0 equals all that. So we can just get rid of the denominator. It's constant. So we're going to end up with x has to equal 1 over x. And we get that when x squared equals 1. And we have two solutions to that. And that's plus or minus 1. Okay. But we are not interested in the negative solution because we, ha we have to explicitly restrict the domain uh, here so uh, let's just we'll mark that uh, point here um, it's going to be 1 comma 0 okay 
now let's let's put in this it's gonna be an asymptote so we'll uh, let's just find a good way to draw this we'll put a scale up here so that's gonna be one that's gonna be two and so forth so this will be a half so we can draw we'll draw a dotted line uh, going to the origin of x equals sorry y equals a half x okay so the function is going to get closer and closer to that line and now now let's look at the other extreme of x x is going to go to zero but uh, just from the right just from the positive side so what happens there well this one half x is going to become one half of zero so that's just going to be zero and minus two over x is going to be a very very tiny number a small number a positive small number so that ends up with we end up with zero minus uh, infinity uh, negative infinity so it's going to as it gets closer to zero from the right it's going to get large and negative now we'll run it through that zero point and we got it kind of going toward the asymptote and that's that's it here's what this all looks like in desmos i've got the dotted line through the origin that's uh, x uh, y equals one half of x that's our asymptote and on the right side you see the uh, function that we've just uh, sketched we can take the one half x uh, minus one over two x and turn that off and on and for some reason that's really satisfying